Hey everyone, Social Solops is here for another episode of 52 and 52, and this week I am taking a look at the Nightmare Cooperative, which is a uh, heavily stylized roguelike um, that I think ended up in my inventory from a recent Humble Bundle. Uh, again, I sound like a broken record with that one. Um, it is, in fact, uh, you know, a roguelike. Uh, I've you know, been a stickler on that terminology in the past. Um, but this is very much, you know, uh, typical roguelike, scrolling around, permadeath, um, that sort of thing. However, it adds some, um, you know, interesting nuance to it uh, that, that um, you know, made, made me play more than I would with your uh, typical roguelike, I think. Um, Basically, you start with one character, uh, everything's randomly generated as far as I can tell. Your party, your starting level, everything like that. Um, and you're dropped into a small dungeon uh, with an exit. Uh, the first level you start with uh, one character with one health and one uh, ability use, which is represented by the little um, potions, the blue potions. Uh, and as you go through the level, um, you pick up gold, you pick up new uh, NPCs to work for, or new, um, I shouldn't call them NPCs because they're not, uh, new um, allies to control, and uh, you end up controlling up to three people all at the same time. Um, at least I think it's three. Uh, it's I, I, there have been levels where I've gone into it with two and then I go to pick there's two guys just sleeping which is how you find new characters they're just sleeping on the ground um, it looks like there's a spot for a fourth but as soon as you pick up the um, like one person from the level the others die or disappear they just poof um, so maybe if I finally finished a level with three and pick up a fourth maybe that would be um, maybe I would have to, I would be able to have a party of four. But anyway, um, I digress. Uh, as your party grows, you are controlling all of your characters at the same time. So you have to use, use and avoid obstacles and enemies to your advantage, um, or to the best of your ability not to, you know, straight up murder all your guys. Um, because every time you scroll, you know, left, right, up, or down, everybody moves um, at the same time. Uh, if you... The normal combat is basically just you trade blows with an enemy, uh, you lose a health, they lose a health. So the um, the main you know practice is just to avoid combat as much as possible. Um, there is some variability even in the early levels uh, to, to the enemies. Um, they have a variety of different uh, movement styles and um, abilities that they have at their disposal, that sort of thing. Um, and again, with the whole idea of avoidance, uh, the game punishes you, or at least makes things harder, if you hang around too long. Um, there's a constant countdown to add more enemies to the level, so even if you wipe all of them out, more will spawn. Uh, with time, that's down at the down at the bottom, uh, right there, that uh, little red number that counts down every time you move. Um, in addition to that, every time you open a chest, uh, it will spawn one or more enemies, um, depending on if it has a number on the chest. You get more gold, but more enemies spawn, and you have to handle them or avoid them, um, which can get pretty dicey pretty quickly. Uh, you can, there, are, there is a secondary combat which uses the potions. Um, depending on the different, uh, the, the different party members you have, the potions do different things, like the archer can, um, you know, fire without, uh, without taking, mo of, on almost all of them I think it's just they can, you know, do combat without taking damage. Um, and some of them are ranged, like the mage and the uh, and the archer. Um, some of the levels do have uh, some, you know, short puzzles and things. Uh, you know, just basic step on the platform, 
um, to open up a space to get the treasure to get out type of thing. Um, but again, the diciness of that doesn't come from the complexity. It comes from, well, can I get everybody into position um, without getting anybody dead or without getting the whole party dead at least? Um, and it quickly becomes a matter of, uh, well, who do I have to sacrifice? Um, what's, you know, it's, it's frequently a matter of catch 22s. Um, so yeah, uh, visually it's a pretty, you know, nice little art style. Um, I find it pretty appealing. It uses a lot of this sort of, uh, you know, paper cutout art style, very angular, um, simple designs and things like that. Really clean color palette that I appreciated. Um, and things change up once you get into uh, some of the um, later levels. Uh, I think I made it to level five. Um, and I think in total there are 16 levels, or at least as far as I could tell. Um, I honestly have no idea uh, if there's more after that. Um, I can't even conceive of getting there. Um, again, it is all randomly generated, and because it is permadeath, you know, you lose everything by definition. Um, so, uh, again, as I've said with roguelikes before, that's not so much my cup of tea. Um, and it means, at the very least, that I won't end up playing this for long periods of time. You know, no, no four-hour... Uh, grind fest or anything like that and because you don't uh unlock anything um you know with with passing playthroughs as well um i for me personally that will get frustrating pretty fast i am sure um but that said you know don't if you are a roguelike fan i think this is probably a pretty great little pickup it does something unique it looks pretty uh you know and it and it runs well um Honestly, you know, I, I wouldn't mind having this on mobile or something like that. Uh, it may actually be available on mobile. I'll have to check that after. But, uh, yeah. Um, interesting little uh, roguelike dungeon crawler that's uh, worth a shot, I think. Um, if what you see appeals to you and what I've described makes sense to you. Uh, so, yeah. That's been me. I'm the Social Solipsist. Thank you guys for watching 52 and 52, and I will see you guys next time.